Today's video is about C-reactive protein, inflammation, curcumin, vitamin E, and how this can help you if you have chronic kidney disease. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you have it. I'm Robert Galerowitz, naturopath, nutritionist, kidney survivor, living with a kidney transplant. Long time. Our videos are all about helping yourself and your kidney health. So let's get into it. Today's um, information comes from the European Review of Medical and Pharmacological Sciences, February 2023. The title of this research piece is The Effect of Antioxidant uh, Supplementation on Oxidative Stress and Pro-Inflammatory Biomarkers in Patients with Chronic Kidney Disease, Systematic Review and Meta-Analysis. So what they did was they looked at a lot of different studies and they looked at C-reactive protein, okay, which when you have an elevated C-reactive protein, you have to get a blood test first to know if you have this, it means you have inflammation in the body. And if you have kidney diseases present, there's most likely inflammation in the kidney, it's not good, it's something that you should address. First, you gotta get a blood test, okay? Because how do you know if it's elevated or not unless you have a blood test? However, the great thing about these supplements is you can still take them whether you get the blood test or not because they can help your health, but that's the definitive way to know. So the conclusion of this uh, review here is, our review suggests that curcumin, turmeric, and vitamin E supplements effectively lower uh, serum CRP level C-reactive protein in CKD patients, particularly uh, people undergoing uh, dialysis. So. People on dialysis, they had the high C-reactive protein, you can take these two supplements to lower it. Um, even if you're not on dialysis, if you have an elevated C-reactive protein, address it. Your kidneys, your health are gonna be better off. You're gonna have better supported kidneys, healthier kidneys, better kidney markers. So curcumin, okay, an active component uh, from turmeric. I've talked a lot about this. I'm not gonna to get too into it. We're gonna put a link in the description if you wanna go really look um, and see our other videos about the curcumin supplements, what you really should do, what you should take. Because you can't just go to the store and buy any old uh, curcumin product and take it and think it's going to work. You got to get a good one with a high absorption. And you have to take about 1,500 milligrams per day. A lot of people get a pill of curcumin, like I'm taking one pill and it's not helping. You're not at the therapeutic range. Okay, one pill, four or 500 milligrams isn't going to help you. Got to get to that 1500 milligrams. If you want to know more about curcumin, the link to our curcumin videos is below, talking about brands, absorption rates, what's best for people with chronic kidney disease. Second nutrient is vitamin A, okay? Fat-soluble nutrient helps, um, helps oxidative stress, free radicals, tremendous potent nutrient, helps your glutathione levels stay up. There's so many things. So people who took the curcumin and vitamin E lower that CRP, vitamin E, 400 I use, uh, that's 268 milligrams now because they change the measurements. You'll still see both on the bottles. Now, when you get a vitamin E, you want to make sure it's 400 I use and D alpha tocopherol. You don't want DL alpha tocopherol, that's a synthetic one. And preferably, you get DL alpha tocopherol along with some other parts of vitamin E. So vitamin E has eight parts. You want to make sure you get some of those other parts because it's very, very helpful. Some brands are quickly are Solgar, Vital Nutrients, Blue Bonnet, uh, Pure Encapsulation. There's a lot, a lot of uh, brands out there that offer a good vitamin E. That's just one of them. Okay. Take these supplements for three months, retest your blood, see the results. If you have questions, leave them in the comments section. And like I said, look at our other video about curcumin. And to your best kidney health, everybody. Bye.